Hi and welcome to Samsung DIY Repair Channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to refit all the components to your Samsung RS21 or Samsung SRS fridge repair kit. Uh, the first thing to start with is the drain heater. Now make sure your drain hole is clear, um, there's something that's iced down there so make sure you've cleared the ice uh, by a steam gun or hot water or something like that. Um, basically the drain heater can be a bit tricky but if you try to manoeuvre it over, make sure the pink wires are going down the drain hole and just snap it into position. Put the wires up the side there, tidy them off a bit. And you notice I've got the evaporator slightly pulled forward, you can do that but watch you don't pull it too much. Um, you can sort of pop it off its little plastic hooks to work on. Uh, the next thing I tend to do is I put the evaporator heater on itself which is uh, this component here that's your evaporator heater again it looks a bit tricky but um, half the time they fall back into place just in case you're going over the little aluminium lugs and closing them over again and uh, put some cable ties on so basically just set it in place Normally what I do is I try and get a couple of the bottom ones on over here get my long nose pliers and squeeze the aluminium lugs back round By doing this that gives you a wee bit more freedom with both your hands to sort of work up and down the other ones that need to be put on now, Just sort of work up make sure that they're going back into position uh, This one went on quite nicely I've been to ones where I've had a bit of a battle. Um, have a look at the element before you fit it and just sort of square it, you know, make sure it's not sitting. Sort of all bent out of shape before you put it on. They, they can get a wee bit bent out of shape um, when they're delivered or, you know, when you take them out of the packet or stuff like that. But basically all I'm doing is I'm going up and down the little lugs squeezing them over making sure everything's in place and that's that um, what I tend to do at this point is is just plug in the you've got your drain heater and your evaporator heater just plug them in just now just make sure you don't forget them um, what you're looking to do is sort of tidy the wires as you go so the, the wire that's coming off the defrost heater tuck that round the back there just bring it over there um, again what I do at this point because I've got the cooler unit sort of off its plastic lugs as I'll put the thermal fuse in if you watch I'm putting it right behind put a cable tie through the cooler back round and just make sure that's nice and tight there and cut the cable tie um, what I'll do is I'll take the camera off its mount here uh, just to try and get round there and show you where the, the thermal fuse is it's a bit hard to show but it's right at the back don't fall into the trap and cable tie it in the middle or at the front That the component is a thermal fuse it's rated to sort of trip out about 80 degrees 78 to 80 degrees um, if you cable tie it onto the front here you're cable tying it straight onto a heater if you cable tie it in the middle you're cable tying it straight onto the heater leg so it must go right at the back I'll show you the aluminium lugs sort of close them all back over it can be tricky but uh, just in case you have a look at them and sort of maybe squeeze them again if you don't think they're, they're properly sort of shut over I'll just get this camera back on its mount Yeah, that's all 
okay. Um, now, the, what I tend to do at this point is sort of just square the cooler back off a bit. Make sure the wires are sort of coming up the side there. Drain heater sitting all right, and I pop the cooler back on its lugs. You can slightly manipulate the cooler. Uh, sometimes it wants to pop back off the lugs. You've just got to sort of move it back and forwards. Make sure your your wires are all connected in. Now, what you want to do now is just sort of make sure your wires are sort of tucked in at the back here. I'll put the thermal fuse in. That goes right at the top. You can plug your defrost heater in, which just goes in the middle. Again, just make sure your wires are tucked in. Tuck that connector at the back there. Um, now, what you've got to fit now is your defrost sensor. You'll notice that goes in the very bottom plug. Pop that in. And the little defrost sensor connects and block. You just put that around the, around the, the pipe and pop that back over like that. Now you can see the wires sort of dangling down and uh, sitting up there. Basically just tidy the sensor wire off in here at the top. Just make sure it's not going to interfere with the fan housing recess here. Put a cable tie around that. Basically, and, uh, once you've got all the sensors back in place, just before you do much more, just make sure your wires are sort of sitting in place. Um, this one from the heater that can sort of get in the way a little bit, but as long as it's not sort of going to get cut by any wires or any sharp pieces of metal. Your defrost sensor comes out the bottom, goes to here, your thermal fuse is down the bottom on the right hand corner. Um, Lastly, you would put your little heat transfer clip. You just clip it on. And just squeeze it with a pair of long pliers. That's pretty much it. Again, just go over your wires, make sure they're not coming out here or they're not sitting anywhere different. Um, and that's you. That's you ready to put your uh, cover on after that you've replaced all the components. Um, just to quickly recap, we'll take this plug out. If you've fitted all your components, you should look something like this. Your defrost sensor's here, your thermal fuse is down the back, your heater's all clipped in place properly, your drain heater's sitting in, the pink wires are down the drain, and all your wires are pretty much tidied off. Um, your little transfer clip's on and squeezed in. At this stage, really, all you need to do is position your cover. So don't need to worry about plugging it in just now, just make sure your wires are here. Uh, what I tend to do is I push the left hand side in first. Get a couple of screws in. You'll find if you don't get screws in, the, when you're working on the right hand side, the left hand side will pop off, or vice versa. So basically, it is a bit tricky. Just pop it into place and get your screws. Now 
push it down here you can put the water bottle in as well just lift it up screw it back on put your wiring plug in put your deodorizer grills back in And that's pretty much you. Basically go around the cover, push it, make sure it's in right. And that's you. All you've got to do now is put the light cover back on at the top. Finally how to fit the top half of your RS21 or your SRS American style fridge freezer. Um, before you fit it just pay attention to these wire plugs and the socket it goes into. We get a lot of customers uh, phoning up saying the fridge isn't working. It's normally because I forgot to plug this blue connector in. It is a bit tricky because you can't see it. Um, what I tend to do is sort of get this lined up as much as I can I'll get the light one in, that's quite a longer cable but the air sensor is pretty short so you really got to do this by feel it is a bit tricky but you can, you will feel it snapping into place That's it. And it basically pop the tower in at the bottom. Just make sure that's sitting in right. And I'm push it back. That's you. All you need to do is put the three screws back in. Uh, one at the bottom. One in the middle. One at the top. the light diffuser, the cover for the light back on, normally it just pops into place, again there's a screw right at the top, just bring that back pretty together much again, everything's came on, the lights are on in the fridge, everything's all fitted back together, now what you want to do is check your fans running, so basically if you hold the button in here, with your finger and then put your hand when you hold the light button in the lights will go out if you see that I'll just press them on and off so once the lights go off after about 9 to 10 seconds the fan in your fridge should come on so at this point what you really want to be doing is putting your hand over to the vents I mean you'll probably hear the fan coming on but just to just to sort of verify the fan's blown air, I mean it's not strong air put your fingers or back of your hand up and down these vents and you should feel air coming out of them if you take your finger off the light will go on and your fan will stop and um, that's one quick way just to make sure that yeah, you've got it all sort of plugged back in right, the fans plugged in, the wires are okay and your fans physically coming on again just if you locate the button here on the side press it in, your lights go off if you count to about 9-10 sort of seconds you'll hear the fan starting up and uh, at that point just go up and down the air vents I think there's a couple of these vents that are blocked off so you won't feel air on every one of them but you should feel it. <laughs> 